video I am going to discuss about motion in a plane the fourth chapter introduction what are the topics we are going to discuss in the chapter that is first we will discuss about the introduction next we will discuss about vector vector addition and uh, difference between the vectors and uh, the resolving of vectors we will study after that we will study about the position vector displacement vector then relative velocity and sorry before that we will study about average velocity and average acceleration then we will study about relative velocity in two dimension already we studied relative velocity in one dimension in the previous chapter and finally we will study about motion under gravity that is the projected motion we will study and finally we will study about the circular motion clear okay this is a, these are the topics we are going to discuss in this chapter. Okay, first of all, introduction. What is motion? Motion means the change in position with the time is motion. Here we are studying about motion in a plane or motion in a two dimension. I am taking an example of a motion in a plane. A football is rolling on a ground. It is moving in a ground, so it is in a plane. Okay, so I am taking the curved motion of the rolling ball. Okay, so I am assuming that it does that football is moving in this plane. Okay, so like this it is to be moving. Initial position is P1, coordinates are x1, comma y1. That is from this x1 is a distance and the y component is y1. I check the final pos position component that is p2 is x2 y2. Okay, then this is about the x2 and this is about the y2. Okay, so you see this here. This ball is to be rolling in a plane. So here you can see that the two coordinates are changes, both x and y coordinate changes. So from this we can say that if an object is moving in a plane, the two coordinate will change. Okay. So the two coordinate will change. We can say that the object is in a object is moving in a plane. Okay. That is about the motion in a plane. So next we will see how we can specify the direction when an object is moving in a plane. Previously we studied if an object is moving in a straight line, we have used positive and negative sign for representing the direction of motion. But here it is not applicable for that because in the one dimension motion, the body have only two possible tires. That means we will take an example. This is one pillar and this is another pillar. These two pillars are connected by a narrow path. A person is moving in this direction. Okay. Or a person is standing in this narrow path. This person have two possible directions. It can he can move in this direction or he can move in this direction. So you look at here, if this is along the x-axis, so this will take it as positive x-axis and this is negative x-axis. If a body is moving towards the positive x-axis, we will take it as positive and a body is moving towards the negative x-axis, we can take it as negative. So if the values are negative, we can say that the body is moving in the negative x-axis. If a body is to be moving positive x-axis, the values are positive. Okay. This is the method we have to be doing in the motion in a straight line. But it is not applicable here because here the body has more possibilities. You look at here, this is a plane. In this plane, there is a football, is there. 
this would for football house so many possibilities you look at here 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 like this so this method is not applicable motion in a plane so we are using a method that is we are introducing a new concept that is vector by using the vector we can easily specify the direction of an object when it is moving in a plane okay so the physical quantities are classified into two types one is scalar quantity and another is vector quantity first one is scalar quantity scalar quantity what about the scalar quantity the scalar quantity have only magnitude otherwise i can say that to understand the entire characteristic of a scalar quantity only magnitude is enough that means you take an example mass of sugar is 1 kg that means we can easily got all the information the sugar mass is 1 kg no need for direction or anything okay we got the entire information okay so this is about a scalar quantity and the examples are mass time distance like that etc okay next the classification is vector quantity okay vector quantity have both magnitude and direction both magnitude and direction otherwise i can say that to understand the entire characteristic of like this quantity both magnitude and direction is necessary that means i am taking an example 10 newton force acting on a box that is i am taking a box here how much force is acting the force is 10 newton so which direction you choose that is a problem if i will choose the force in this direction the 10 newton force is in this direction the body may try to move in this direction i have another possibility also then i can choose in this direction if i will choose the force is to be acting in this direction what i can get i'll get that this body moves in this direction so there is a confusion game so there is no direction so without direction we cannot understand the entire characteristic of like this one so we have to say the direction so i am saying that the force of 10 newton acting towards east towards east now i can say that this body the force is acting towards east that is like this it is acting so how much is the magnitude the magnitude of the force is 10 newton and the direction is to be like this and the body may try to move in this direction okay so this is the thing so that means this type of quantity both magnitude and, and direction is necessary to specify the entire characteristic okay this is the bottom vector quantities and the examples are force displacement and uh, another thing you can take a speed okay and etc okay this is about the introduction